so um, it's only my second day here at Occupy Everything, and I'm already going to call this thing uh, Steal Everything. Uh, that's all that's happening here is a whole lot of theft and, and drugs, and a lot of people have problems with it. The scooter bike trailer was stolen this morning, along with everything that was in it. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I, all my clothes, uh, the shower, uh, luckily the, not the tools, because I was smart enough to take those out, but... Um, yeah, so, in any case, uh, here we are at Steal Everything, a uh, big event for losing your shit. Um, last night, um, I stayed in this canopy tent, which actually is a friends of friends, um, both of which are missing in action, so we decided to go ahead and just utilize the tent, um, and so I just basically slept right here on the, uh, on the ground, and then, uh, of course, I've got my equipment, I have my um, wagon here, and my, my scooter has been safe right here.
share my goal that it be done in an orderly and peaceful manner. I want to make clear this action is not an action. actually been a lot of talk about like some of the things that are faltering with the movement. One of the main problems with the movement right now is that it's been completely infiltrated by drug users. Two different drunks I spoke with last week told me they'd be encouraged to quote take it to Zuccotti by officers who'd found them drinking in other parks and members of the community affairs working group related similar stories they've heard while talking with intoxicated or aggressive new arrivals. So in other words Part of their ongoing plan to make it difficult for people to stay in the park is to take people who may have, uh, who are clearly intoxicated, who may have psychological issues, and steer them toward Zuccotti. There is a lot of excitement uh, going on today, and it does seem that there's going to be some kind of solidarity at least behind this. If, if there was any fracturing in the movement, we've most certainly been made solid by uh, Mayor Sam Adams' move. Um, uh, it's definitely something that everybody's rallying behind. Uh, Ever since uh, Mayor Sam Adams made his announcement this morning, the police have uh, come in and have occupied the central square and made their presence known. Uh, they're being friendly so far. We'll see how they are Sunday morning. <laughs> Things have really come to a head. Um, there's a lot of people now coming here. Uh, there's a lot of media. There's a lot of police. Uh, there's a lot of new faces. And uh, but the kitchen is still running at full blast. Although preparations are being made for the inevitable. Well, um, the Occupy Portland movement has reached a brink. Uh, today is the day in which the city has said that they would. Um, begin enforcing the eviction, and of course uh, they had to the uh, horses, uh, because you know, uh, horses are important. The kitchen has uh, decided to break down, actually a lot of different places have decided to break down and clear out all of the really uh, expensive and important equipment. Uh, but the kitchen is still serving food, and the revolution is still being fed. Today, the uh, police have definitely beefed up their security. Uh, we're seeing a lot more uh, police in riot gear with helmets hanging on their sides. Um, police with masks on. That's interesting. One thing that's been very interesting is that the whole thing has been uh, highly advanced technologically speaking. You know, uh, we have live stream here. It's pretty on the internet. Live. Uh, and uh, we also have had um, mega, mega computer screens and uh, smartphones galore helping us. So uh, it's pretty interesting te technology's role in all of this.
So um, I'm assuming that this is uh, something that the police have set up, but they put these um, bright lights around the entire perimeter of the park so that we can have festive lights for our party. And I'm going to stay here at least up until the hour of magic, uh, which is midnight. Up. They're right behind me, and uh, it looks like it's very, very strong. Lots of people are coming up, and uh, they're coming into the main circle here. And uh, we've got our first batch of occupiers here, so um, let's welcome them.
only so much shit the rich can feed us before we figure out which side we're on. Because we've learned if we want our liberation, it will only come if we stay here till the rising of the dawn. So we're gonna stay right How'd you make it last night? Pretty good, but I got woke up rudely by uh, Portland PD. Oh yeah, did you sleep okay? Oh yeah. You slept, huh? Yeah, I slept in a tent. Here? Yeah. <laughs> in the midst of the chaos. Well yeah, it, it tapered down about 5 o'clock. That's when I fell asleep with a cute little girl and then uh, woke up in the morning she was gone and it was a cop knocking on the door. It looks like a small vestige of um, occupiers has built a barricade around their fort. Um, otherwise known as the relaxation station, a uh, clubhouse that was built out of wood, um, and they've barricaded it and they've chained themselves in, and uh, they're making one last stand. Go that way, please. Thank you. Put the sidewalk. Go that way, please. Sir, this sidewalk is closed. I was told to go this way. Closer. Closer. You want me to go on the street? Across the street, if you want. Uh, against the crosswalk? Well, when it turns right. Okay, well, can I stand on the sidewalk until the crosswalk comes up? Okay. Can you say that for the camera? Yes. Uh, you want to look through my bag? Yes. Do you have a warrant? No. Why would you want to look through my bag? Why not? 
<laughs> because it's my stuff and not okay. yours. Okay, and it's fine. And I'm not allowed to bring my personal effects into a public park. Is that what you're telling me? I cannot bring my personal effects into a public park that's open currently. The longer you don't talk, the better the film is, I think. Hey, Sarge. Uh, this man wants to bring his bag into the park. Uh, unless he lets you guys go I'm a, I, I'm a journalist. I, this is my equipment. Okay. I'm obviously okay. documenting all of this. Right. So uh, orders are search the bags. If not, do you have a warrant? No, sir. Well, we can't go in the park, please. Uh, the, this you is a, is here. this a, is this a public park? Yes, it is. You just stand here. By is the it park open park. to the public currently? Yes, it is. Okay, so I cannot bring my personal effects into a public park without being searched unlawfully without a warrant. That's correct. Wow. If you want to come to the park, no problem at all. Go through your bag, there's no contraband in there, you're free to go, okay? If not, stand outside and look in. Well, thank you. This is exactly what they were looking for. They're like, oh, there aren't as many here. This is the moment. So we can really fuck them up. Ladies and gentlemen! Oh, they're coming in! I'll go, I'll do it peacefully. Where are they going? Yeah. <laughs> Protesters are being beaten by our police. We pay them and they beat us. Did you get hit, sir, yourself? I did not get hit. I saw multiple people getting hit. Let him up! 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 Let him up!
fell, let him up. He just fell. He just fell, let him up. He just fell, let him up. He just fell, let him up. Please. He just fell. He just fell. He just fell. You don't help people. He just fell. Things have gotten really crazy. Um, they finally made their last push to push everybody out of the park. Um, I was actually in the middle of it for just a minute. Uh, I got caught. It wasn't fun. Uh, luckily, I didn't get hurt. But uh, looks like the police have made their final push for everybody out of the park. And now everybody's pretty much just milling around in the middle of the intersection of uh, Main and Fourth. Uh, so um, uh, everybody's very upset, but remaining peaceful for the most part. Uh, everything I saw that was violent uh, came from the cops. Everybody else seemed to be uh, resisting very peacefully. So the um, the police are announcing over a uh, loudspeaker right now that if people remain in the middle of the intersection, they will use tear gas and beanbag guns, uh, bean bag guns, and uh, ex force. Uh, some people would say excessive force. Um, I don't think people are moving. It doesn't look like anybody's moving right now. Looks like the police are surrounding the square now. Uh, they've got um, fourth uh, blocked off, and they have main blocked off, and they're slowly pinning everybody in the intersection while at the same time threatening them with uh, tear gas and um, push beanbag guns and non-fatal non weapons. So um, I'm gonna get out of there. assembly right on Main Street um, and right before the vote was taken 
to find consensus as to where we were going to go. Um, the police uh, upped their ante and um, they were about to move in and instead of moving in they pulled back and right at that moment everybody marched here to Pioneer Square where they're now having the General Assembly um, so that they can decide where to occupy next. Uh, I would not be surprised that if that cannot be decided tonight that they occupy Pioneer Square tonight until it can be decided. But there has been a lot of talk about the PSU park blocks, um, which isn't a bad idea. So we'll see how this turns out.